Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, today into this particular video, we are going to start on the Python programming language for the machine learning. Okay, this is what we are going to start out that we will be learning about the Python programming language and that so uh, for the machine learning. So, let me just very quickly put on the uh, topic for today that is the Python. So today I'm going to give you all the specifications and um, like what is Python, what are the features of Python, who is the father of Python, right? All these specifications of Python I'll be giving you today into this particular video only. So let's get started out. Um, okay, great. So first of all, I'm going to tell you that who is the father of Python, okay? So the father of Python, the father of Python is Kyudo Van Rossum. Okay, Kyudo Van Rossum. He is the father of Python. He is the person who uh, developed this programming language, which is Python. Right. So this Python programming language, this is a successor of ABC programming. I'm not sure have you ever heard about the ABC programming language or not, but yeah, that ABC is one of the programming languages which we have here uh, into, into the computer science. So uh, Python, Python is actually a successor of ABC, means that in Python programming language, uh, there are many much, much more features which have been added as a successor to the ABC programming language. Okay, this is what uh, is about Python, like what's who is the father of Python. Right, now, secondly, what is Python? So Python is one of the most popular programming languages in today's world. Right, so I'm going to write up that same thing. So Python is the, Python is the most popular programming python is the most popular programming language in today's what right so yes that's so true that python is python is one of the most popular programming languages in today's world and yeah the reason is that because first of all it is one of the programming languages which is really being right away now used in all sort of uh, respective uh, like, like roles and the things like that. Like if you take on uh, data science, Python is there. If you take on machine learning, Python is there. If you take web development, app development, right, deep learning, artificial intelligence and um, software development. So in all of the respective fields right away now, the Python is one of the languages which is being used out. So that is one of the like main uh, reasons behind being popular, being the most popular programming language. Okay, now. Third is that what are the respective fields into which Python is used on? So it is used in the data science, um, let me just get down. It is used in the data science. It is used in the machine learning. So machine learning, what is it that I had already told you right uh, into the previous video, right? So data science, machine learning, app development, app development, right? Web development, web development. Okay, mathematics deep learning, artificial intelligence, software development. So yeah, these are all of the respective fields into which the Python programming language is really used out a lot. So that is the reason about being Python as one of the most popular languages today. Now, next, what are the respective features which we have in the Python? So very first feature is easy to understand. 
easy to understand. Now listen me out. Python is one of the programming languages which is very easy to be understood, which is very easy to understand actually. See, the syntax which you are having in Python, that is the most easiest syntax which you have in comparison to other programming languages. And that is the respective reason why we see that Python is very easy to understand and easy to learn as well. So let's say I, I we just simply write up a hello world program, a very basic program. Now, if I have to write that hello world program in Java or C, C++, so I'm going to use around four to five lines of code for writing that out. Right, the libraries are being imported and the things like that. But if I am going to write up that hello world program in Python now, so it's going to simply take one single language. And because of these respective things, we see that Python is easy to understand and easy to learn. Because the syntax which you are having in Python that are very, very, very easy as comparing to other languages further when i would take you through these things and you will you will automatically get to know about these things whatever i am saying up. okay fine so easy to understand is done second is open source uh, i can write it in a manner that uh, free and open free and open source now, this is one of the programming languages which is completely free and it's completely open source means uh, for downloading Python, you do not have to pay any amount or, or anything like that. It's simply available onto your Google, write Python download for this Windows and simply will get up a link and download it from there. No, nothing is required in the sort of your payment or anything like that. And open source means that Python website which we are having in, into that already there is a lot and lot of lots of content for uh, in regards to the Python programming language that what is it actually, what are the things which we are having and all of the things like that. So that is the respective uh, thing, that is the respective reason about uh, being Python as one of the free and one of the open source softwares right that is the reason we say that python is completely free and it is completely open source because it's completely available onto the google you could just go and read all the doc documentations for this and go ahead with your respective uh, functions and other things next is the robust libraries libraries i would simply write libraries now, there we have a lots of libraries in Python and let's have a develop up any game, right? So for developing up that game in Java, C or C++, I first of all have to write up all the requirements and the things and I have to design that in such a manner, right? So it's going to take up much, much more time rather than the expected. But now, when you are having like uh, into this particular case uh, libraries are uh, in python you already have the inbuilt libraries so it means you're having a lot and lot of libraries in python already it's just that you have to simply write up the name for that library and the code which is behind that library that gets imported up and now further you can use any functions of those libraries for making up your program uh, Writ, write for writing of your programs or for using of the functions into your programs and things like that. So that is what is your library. So Python is easy to understand, just free and open source. Libraries are very uh, robust, which you are having in the Python. So these are the respective reasons that why Python is used in here. Uh, in the machine learning as well and what is python i hope i am now pretty much clear to you first of all that what python actually is firstly secondly who is the father of python third what are the respective uh, domains or fields into which python is used right now right are these and uh, what are the respective features in python programming language right 
so hope i am pretty much clear with all of these things to you now further what we will be doing is our further from the next video we will be start a start implementing of the practical portion for this python programming language which hope i am pretty much clear with this so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care